Hey guys, it's the Solar Clock and today in Solar's Monster Analysis video, we're going to be going over Wave Blaze, and I'm going to be telling you guys whether or not this monster is worth your money out of the Golden Legends Pass. So let's go and get right into it. Alright, so Wave Blaze is a support, and her traits are Hardened Area, Super Tuned, and Dodge Area. Dodge Area is a very amazing trait. Hardened is pretty decent as well. Area Super Tuned is alright, but the best trait is definitely a Dodge Area. That is a very, very good trait. Now let's go down to the pros and the cons. So it has great supporting moves in NER, Torture Removal, Stamina Regen, and Damage Boosting, which are all very, very good for a support to have. Those are all pretty great. And it also has access to Stamina Leak and Drown to remove a little bit of Stamina, which is really good to have. And its cons are Mediocre Trait except Status Caster, which is very true. The Dodge Area is the only really good trait it has. And then NER and Torture Removal are only to one ally, which is kind of annoying. It doesn't have any AoE ones. And then Leader Expertise is Anticipation Bait, which is kind of annoying as well. Now let's go on down to the moveset. So it has an AoE Stamina Leak with zero cooldown, which is pretty cool. It also has an AoE Stamina Leak and Drown, which is pretty good. It has an AoE Drown, a Team Damage Boost with Self Extra Turn, which is really good. I like that a lot. It also has a team damage boost with regeneration. It also has a NER double damage move, which is pretty good. It also has an ally triple damage with torture removal, which is pretty cool. And yeah, those are all of the normal moves. And the next ult gives team NER double damage, 100% heal and 100% stamina, which is very good. But yeah, it's normal moves. It has a lot of really good stuff, but it doesn't have a lot of really good AoE stuff. So yeah, it can boost one ally really well, but it can't boost the whole team very well. I mean, it does have a team damage boost with an extra turn, which I really like. But that is the only really boosting move for your whole team. All the other ones are single target besides the stamina regen, but that doesn't really matter. So yeah, it has some pretty decent moves. It is not worth money though. There are a lot of really good free to play supports that are just better. So yeah, I would not spend money on Wave Blaze. Don't really worry about buying Wave Blaze. It is a decent monster, but it is not worth money. So yeah, that is what we have this video. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of Wave Blaze though, and if you guys are actually going to buy Wave Blaze. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Over to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.